Disturbing new details coming to light about the police shooting that left an unarmed man dead in Fairfax County. An officer shot John Gear to death on August 29th of 2013. But it wasn't until this past Friday night, following a court order, that police and prosecutors finally released the details of what happened during that standoff. And those details came in the form of some 11,000 pages of documents. Northern Virginia Bureau Chief Jeff Goldberg poured over those documents for us. And new tonight, Jeff is here in our newsroom uh, with uh, the key information that attorneys say is still missing. Jeff? Yeah, certainly the case, Leon. Lawyers for the Gear family have some big questions about the officer who fired that one shot, Adam Torres. They want more facts about an incident that took place several months before the shooting when Torres had a, quote, meltdown with an assistant Commonwealth attorney in Fairfax. Questions also still remain about an argument Torres says he had with his wife right before arriving on scene of the standoff in Springfield. Subject did advise he has a weapon in close proximity to him. Shortly after Fairfax police descended on the townhome of John Gear, Officer Rodney Barnes, a trained negotiator, established a rapport with Gear. The thousands of pages of the Fairfax County report revealed that while standing in his doorway, Gear told Barnes, I don't want to get shot because I don't want to die today. But Barnes says Gear was concerned with Officer Adam Torres, also close to the doorway. A couple of times he wanted Torres not to point the gun right at him. But as negotiations continued, Barnes thinking he was making progress, it ended in an instant. Next thing I know, he's like, pow. Torres told investigators he saw Gear move his arms, despite the fact that four other officers and two eyewitnesses testified Gear didn't move. In my opinion, in what I saw, I'm like, why did he, why did he shoot? Officer Torres has a lot of explaining to do um, as to how he could have seen one thing and six other people seen another thing. In a police interview days after the shooting, Torres said this. No, it was justified. I, 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 have, no, I have no doubt about that at all. I don't, feel, I don't feel sorry for shooting a guy at all. Attorney Mike Lieberman represents the family of John Gear. I don't think anyone's handled this well. Where is their justice? When is it going to be justice? And on Friday, the attorneys for the Gear family are going to be asking a judge for more documentation on Adam Torres while the Gear shooting investigation remains in the hands of the U.S. Attorney's Office. Meanwhile, Fairfax County board members say they are working to change policies on when and how information is released after a police-involved incident. Live in the newsroom, Jeff Goldberg, ABC7 News. Okay, Jeff, thank you.